Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about the SEAL team. Um, well, first of all, the objectives of the SEAL team uh, are the use of the language as means of communication, objects of learning, means, on, means um, of expressing, expressing values, uh, focus on communication, rating and structure, uh, language learning within the school, Curriculum focus on the focus on meaning and collaboration. Um, the purpose of the CLT are um, well. The purpose of the CLT uh, is let students communicate fluently in a target language and develop their communicative competence. According with Conlin and Henry Whitson uh, in 1990. Well, they began to see that um, a focus on a structure was was not helping language students. They saw a need uh, for students to for students um, to develop communicative skill and functional competence in addition of um, of mastering language structure. And the Council of Europe, a regional uh, organization for cultural and educational cooperation, examined um, examined the problem. Uh, and education was one of the major ar areas of activity. Uh, the need to develop alternative uh, methods methods of language teaching was considered the the high priority. And um, another uh, contribution was um, was uh, Wilkins' contribution um, was an analysis of the communicative meanings that a language learning needs to understand and express. He describes two types of meanings. Uh, the first uh, was national categories. Um, it refers to time, sequence, quantity, location, frequency, and categories of communicate of communicative uh, function. Um, uh, actually, he he has a book, uh, the national national syllabuses, which was published in 1976 and had a significant impact on the develop. On the development of the CLT, um, the communicative approach um, in language teaching starts in a starts in a in a language teaching um, from a theory of languages as communicative uh, as communic as communication. Sorry, its goal is develop communicative competence. According with Khan Alson uh, in 1980, there are four dimensions of communicative competence. The grammatical competence is it is the domain of grammatical and lexical capacity. Um, sociolinguistical, so the sociolinguistical. The grammatical well, uh, the first um, first of all, uh, the grammatical competence, the sociolinguistic competence, discourse competence, and strategic competence. Um, the grammatical competence, uh, it is the domain of grammatical and lexical categories, or no, the domain of um, of grammatical and lexical capacity. The sociolinguistic competence is, is understanding of the social context. The discourse competence uh, it refers to the to how meaning uh, how meaning it represent is represent or how or how a person can represent a meaning in in real life or something like that. 
Uh, the strategic competence is coping strategies that a communicators employ. And um, well, another uh, another thing of the CLT. Uh, well, another fact of the C CLT uh, is the British and American American proponents um, see it as an approach, not a method that aims to make communicative competence the goal of the language teaching and develop procedures for the teaching of the four language skills. And also, um, well, as a conclusion of the of the CLT, um, I could say that this approach can help future 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 teachers uh, develop their students' oral communicate oral communication skills, and it can help promote confidence and security in a classroom. Um, the environment uh, in everyday use and when they travel uh, abroad um, they could develop uh, the use of the second language in this case the in this case English is as a second language or English as um, as um, as um, as a, as a, oh, okay, yeah, just that. No, um, English as, um, 